the Hanjo. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. Who do you let go? Who do you not let go? I don't let that guy go. And nobody behind me. I guess I, you know what? Whatever. <laughs> they can figure it out. There's a shortcut here that could get me home really fast. However, there's always broken glass. It's a little a little tunnel under the under the train tracks, under the commuter rail. And uh, but but and only a bike can fit through. But uh, yeah, it's always like broken glass and smashed stuff, so it's not nah, man, I would love to take it. One of these days, if I had a if I had a beater of a bike. Yeah, I, I, I'd go that way. Avoid avoid the congestion here. Anyway, National Poetry Month. Oh, there go the subscribers. Well, you know, it's a thing. And, uh, man, just uh, love this time of year. The weather gets right. And it's nice to think about, think about, you know, poetry and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, I got some favorite poems out there. Uh, some old school poems I got some new school poems you know um, what's that thing so poet, poets of the surreal movement beat poets you know classical poets it's just ways of expressing something about words and words used well that is so uh, powerful and uh, meaningful I suppose it's so always loved uh, what, Eight Wishes for the Cloths of Heaven? Or whatever, was that Yates? I like that one. I picked up, uh, thanks to Northern Exposure, I picked up a, a big tome of uh, Walt Whitman. I Sing America and all that stuff. Because Chris Stevens talked about it on the radio show, K-Bear, on uh, Northern Exposure. And Maurice Minifield was not too happy about that. And... Uh, so I was like, well, let's see what this Walt Whitman's all about. And uh, yeah, talk about imagery, man. He's, he got it down. You can, you can feel what it felt to walk around the country way back then, Civil War days. Uh, uh, poets of the uh, Harlem Renaissance, very important in my uh, development as a poet. Very, very important. I had a teacher who allowed me to study the Harlem Renaissance when I was in high school. And I kind of carried that. It never really went away. I always... I heard something in the voices that was uh, meaningful and resonated with me and still resonates with me. Um, then there were the beat poets I was exposed to in college. Uh, Jack Kerouac, Gary Snyder, all those dudes and dudettes. And uh, I'll tell you, um, that's where I learned, you know, that tarp flapping off the back of a pickup truck on the highway. That's poetry, man. You know, and that made, that made you know, that, that kind of fit real real good with the punk ethos you know listening to Iggy and the Stooges and Black Flag and all that stuff and the the real imagery and I'm like I could do that and I found great uh, relief in expressing myself through poetry rather than smashing holes in walls and being ornery on the road you know so that's good stuff you know, uh, feel free to skip this video. I'm not going to read any poetry to you. Don't get nervous. All right, thank you very much. Um, but, uh, but yeah, if you got a favorite poet or poem, and, I, you know, I say this once in a while, and, uh, you know, I drop the line into the water, and there are never any nibbles. But I say, uh, one of these days, I want to put out a chapbook of uh, motorcycle-based poetry. And, uh, you know, it, it, I can see that it can be done because I've seen guys like uh, Richard Worsham. You know, he's got a book on Amazon. So <laughs> he wrote a book and got it published on Amazon. So, you know, if you, you know, I, I guess if the spirit is willing, and I don't know what it costs or how that works, but uh, it might be worth looking into. So any out there interested or have a, have a similar ilk about you, uh, maybe have a, a little... Uh, stash of original motorcycle poetry out there then uh hey man uh, dm me and let's talk huh let's see if we can get something uh get something going someday uh, but in the meantime in the meantime stay right there little fellow i will talk to you guys soon
I'll wait. <laughs> I like to let you go when I'm There we go. Gotta make sure. Bye. <laughs>